Hi, it's David Lee here. I've got today's presentation for you, beginning to build a list. It is important for you if you're starting a small business from home that you get potential customers to come and find you and to get their details so that you can contact for them. So the presentation will be broken into three parts. Who is your target audience? Online and offline lead generation. And finally, a case study example. Let's get started. Who is your target audience? Now this is something I see overlooked and very unclear from the people that I meet and talk about business to, that they want to go into business, either they don't have a product, they don't really know if there is an audience for the product they've got, they go and build a website or they go and build their product and they really don't know if anybody is going to be a potential customer or convert them into a customer. You have to be very clear about what it is that you offer, that people know exactly what it is, and that you can find that audience if you need to, if you do a search on the internet, if you search on Google. What are the problems that people are having within that niche market? that you are really a solution provider to those people. It could be anything at all. It could be just your experience that you've had from your work, from your personal life. It really doesn't matter. There is an audience for many people, but the question is, are they willing to spend? That's what you must find out. There are easy ways for you to find that audience and to target them. Now, for example, you could create a group on Facebook where you attract people that are like-minded, have uh, similar interests to yourself. Look for the groups within Facebook. Otherwise, join forum board groups on the subject matter that you're looking to specialise in. And you be the specialist. You give advice and allow them to come and find you on your website. So you will need a website and you need for people to be able to put their name and email address in in the first instance. I'll go on to the next section is online and offline lead generation. What you're doing is creating as many um, points of entry for the people out there to find you. Now if you look closely on the list it says here for example a blog, a website, it could be social media, as I've mentioned with Facebook. It could be article generation that you're creating. But you want people to find you based on the key search terms that they are looking for or the key problems that they have got. And in offline marketing, you could go to a group meeting where people, are, 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 again, are interested in the su same subject matter. Give them your business card. Distribute a leaflet if you wish. Put an advert in the newspaper or in a specialised magazine where you give them the opportunity to come to your website, put their name and email address in, offer them a webinar. I keep saying quite often a webinar is to get personal contact with people and to do it in a live environment so you're knowing exactly what it is uh, that they are wanting for your development of product and services. So as you, as you go down the list, there's just different ways that you can be generating these offline to, offline to online uh, connections that you need. You only need a thousand people to be able to create enough business for you to get started and give them an offer. Give them something that makes it so beneficial for them to put their name and email address and offer them perhaps a low cost price point of entry to buy something off you, to separate the buyers from the non-buyers, because you only want the targeted audience that are going to do business with you. Is that making sense? Finally, I'll give you a case study to uh, put together everything I've said. There I am on the right side in London. I'm running a webinar, which is really a presentation online, a PowerPoint presentation, with my aunt who lives in Australia, who's got eight decades of experience in sewing. Well, she knows nothing about the internet, but I did a few, a few presentation slides and got her to talk on the webinar, 
and had people ask questions at the end. Now, as a result of that, I had a product. I had something simple that people would be interested in. In the first instance, they put their name and email address and uh, they uh, registered for the webinar live. But afterwards, I can make that product available as a recording and offer it for free. If I wish, I could charge for it if it's got value. And then people, if they want to hear the replay, they put their name and email address in and you can then capture their details for further business. Now, if you imagine sewing, I can offer an ebook for people that are joining. I can offer further webinar training for anybody that's interested. There are various products and services that you can be offering and it doesn't have to be your expertise. So I hope this has given you a few ideas of what is possible. My name is David Lee. I run a training weekend in London called Passion to Profit. We cover this and much more on how you can start building your business from completely from scratch, overhaul your business, run it at low cost. Just have a look at the web page, have a look at the event itself, email me, you see the email address there, and I look forward to catching you soon either on another training video or live at Passion to Profit. Thank you very much.